While cyber threats were once again the leading concern of business decision makers, 2022 has been a monumental year for cyber crime. On top of new and increasing remote work threats, we have seen continued nation-state threats and attacks on big-name companies. The top trends to watch for 2023, including the rise in cloud application use, ransomware as a service, and the use of automation in security programs. Hello and welcome to VAR India News R. Today, most of the cyber attacks are now AI ML enabled. In 2022 particularly, we saw a rise in Russian nation-state cyber attacks and it was found out that all the bad actors are taking advantage of AI ML techniques. It's very important now for entities to use AI ML backed tools to at least thwart 99% of such kinds of attacks. It has to be an essential part of every cybersecurity strategy because the scale at which cyber attackers are using these advanced technologies against entities is unprecedented. Cyber attacks will be so intense that it can shut down a company for a long period of time or even put it out of business. And it's imperative that companies have a plan in place to mitigate any associated operational and financial disruptions. Secondly, as the journey to cloud has accelerated in the last couple of years, data security has become complex. Earlier, enterprises didn't have to think much about data classification, sensitive data discovery, governance, structured and unstructured data, access controls, etc. With the rise in cloud adoption, they are facing a lot of challenges in working through all these complexities in hybrid environments. The new work culture where anyone can work from anywhere from their own devices leaves a lot of data vulnerability with multiple endpoints being generated. This also calls for the need of skilled employees who have experience in areas like legal, policy, risk, who can navigate all this to protect the data and keep it in line with the country's laws. Going forward, ransomware attacks will be on the rise this year as well. With the increasing API risks, enterprises should not think that getting a cyber insurance policy might solve all their problems related to ransomware, data protection or regulation. Hence, it is critical that business leaders treat security as a priority and a potential business risk. Let's look into today's headlines in VAR India. Apple reportedly working on low-cost AirPods earbuds. Apple is reported to be working on a new low-cost AirPods to compete against cheaper wireless earbuds. The tech giant is said to be developing an AirPods Lite version to enter into the less expensive wireless earbuds category in the market. The Lite models are expected to cost under $100. Apple currently offers four models of AirPods ranging from second-gen AirPods to the cutting-edge AirPods Max. Microsoft to launch chat GPT AI-backed Bing version. Microsoft is reportedly launching a version of its search engine Bing that will leverage the AI behind chat GPT, a chatbot created by OpenAI. According to a report, Microsoft could launch the new feature before the end of March and hopes to challenge Alphabet-owned search engine Google. Microsoft had said that it is planning to integrate image generation software from OpenAI known as DALLE2 into Bing. Railtel to monetize Wi-Fi project in railway stations. Railtel Corporation of India Limited will monetize its Wi-Fi project at more than 6,100 railway stations across the country. This move is expected to help generate revenue by monetizing Wi-Fi footfalls through targeted advertisements and extending multimedia infotainment services for railway passengers. The objective of the project is to create a media platform having a measurable and physical footprint across every corner of the country. SEBI asks OYO to refile IPO papers with updates. The Securities and Exchange Board of India has asked travel tech firm OYO's parent, Oracle Stays Limited, to refile the draft IPO papers with certain updates. The move might delay the hospitality unicorn's initial public offering. OYO filed preliminary documents with the market regulator in 2021 for a Rs 8,430 crores IPO consisting of a fresh issue of shares of up to Rs 7,000 crores and an offer for sale of as much as Rs 1,430 crores. Reliance Consumer Products to acquire 50% stake in socio hajuri beverages Reliance Retail Ventures FMCG arm Reliance Consumer Products will acquire a 50% equity stake in Gujarat headquartered Socio Hajuri Beverages. The existing promoters Hajuri family will continue to own the remaining stake in SHBPL. With this joint venture, Reliance will further strengthen its portfolio in the beverage segment, having already acquired Tampa. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India News Magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.